What are we talking about today? Well, you know what I want to talk about? Oh, I want to gosh. talk well, about... That's the first thing I don't want to hear uh, that you want to talk okay. about. Okay, well, competition and competition shows. Have you ever done any competition reality Joe always shows? Says, Joe always says it's... it's, it's what did you? What do you say? You don't need to. They're not good. No, you. No, what, what do, do I say? Not kidding. <laughs> no, what do there's I say? No need to. There's no need to compete if it's not a competition. That's or it's true. not a competition what? if you've already won or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's that's, that's that, what he says. Yeah, all the time. Right. That's totally. what Michael Jordan said. Yeah. 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 There's no competition. I always win. Matt. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, I, I just like well, ganging up on Matt. Yeah, it's fun. Have I it done? Is fun. Have I done a competition show? Well, Matt, you know the answer to that. Don't ask rhetorical questions. I think you did okay. one. Yes. Yes, I did. I did it. Yes, I did. I did Dancing with the Stars mm. uh, back when a lot of people watched it. You know, they <laughs> they took it off. Well, it's crazy because the season that I did it. You remember it was that? Mm. I mean, you can't. You, you no one knew going in. No. But it was that Mario Lopez, Emmett Smith, and myself, like. Mm. And honestly, like, we were all super competitive, mm -hmm. so it wasn't a joke. Like, I think episode two or whatever, I got, either Mario got tens, and then I got tens, and then Emma got tens, and then it was just like, oh, man, it's 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 on. And we got to the finals, the three of us, you know? But Did you ever was, brawl with huh? Mario or Twinkle Toes? Uh, I, uh, yeah, I mean. Isn't that what they called Emmett, Twinkle Toes? Wasn't that his name? I think that was, yeah. What? Yeah, his name was, well, I think well, I think Len, no, one of the, one of the judges. No, football. Nickname was it? Look it up. I don't know. Twinkle toes. What am I Google? Twinkle toes? I'd be shocked if that was the case. Like, I don't know. Shocked. His favorite song was "Twinkle Little Star." Maybe that's what you're thinking no, about. No, no, it wasn't. No, no. Um, but at any rate, so it ended up being a juggernaut, and you know, it was like 20 plus million people a week watched that that's show. Impressive. Believe it or not, yeah, and that was way back because they 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 were they were doing two seasons a year, mm. so it was way back. I think season three. I mean, if you can imagine this, um, but. At any rate, then they, then obviously like it went on and went on and, you know, as all shows, they can't stay that popular. So it, and then they put on Disney plus and it was a disaster and now it's coming back to ABC. Mm. They're like, oh, this, this doesn't work. Yeah. Cause it's a live show. Yeah. It doesn't make The whole sense. point of it's live. Yeah. It didn't You're not going to come into a streamer for something live. Turns out that uh, I was completely wrong. Perfect. And that his name was not Twinkle. I did. It was Emmett Smith. Was. Uh, everybody knew that. That's his name. Nickname's Catch-22. That's what it says. His nickname was. Uh, number was. He 22. didn't really have a. He didn't. So he didn't have one. Where'd you get the Twinkle Toes? That's really know. hilarious. Maybe actually. I just nicknamed him Twinkle Toes. I, I don't know if he's gonna like. He was that a one. tremendous dancer. He was. He was a great dancer. He, <laughs> he was. He 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 won the whole thing. Yeah, he did. He did. He won the well, whole thing. I mean, he won the whole thing. You know. Yeah. It was rigged, but he won the whole <clears> thing. Well, that's what I was going to talk about this. Uh, this, But anyway, yes. I just wanted to talk to you about this competition thing because I did a competition Why? cooking. Oh show. yeah 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 and. Yeah. I went in there going, oh boy, you know, I, I'm really gonna have to step it up. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. That was right. worse cook, so I get it, right? But um, <laughs> I'm really gonna have to step on my bad cooking. But what I what I got I got in there, and by episode two, I realized that it was cast, and even though it was playing out as if who's going to win, they had already had it all planned. Yeah, they, look, there's always been a debate in these so shows. So yeah. I was really bummed out because. It took the all that like it was like that moment when you uh, uh, there's a moment in this in the Andy Kaufman story that, that Jim Carrey did was it what was it called yeah Man, um, the, moon. Man, the, Man moon. the Moon do you remember he's searching he's searching because Andy Kaufman was sick with cancer and he and he was trying to desperately find a cure so right. I'll never forget this scene because Jim Carrey he's, he played it brilliantly and he's I mean he's, he so, was great he was man. almost like identical to Andy Kaufman he was. and he's searching and he brought so much heart to it and his last ditch hope to try to cure himself from cancer was this. Um, Eastern medicine guy. And he pulls the cancer literally out of his victims, or so Andy Kaufman or this Jim Carrey playing the character thought. And he goes there, and as he's getting wheeled up to finally get his cancer pulled out of him, he notices, he can see the guy, the, the doctor who's supposedly pulling the cancer out, grab a piece of meat from under the table before he pretends to pull it out of the no. person's body. And I'll never forget the look on his face when he realized <clears throat> yeah. it was a sham. Yeah, and it wasn't that deep, but that's the same feeling I had. Yeah. Is that I genuinely went what into if you were like it was a sham. Wow, a sham wow, sham wow, the sham wow, the sham wow yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, where is he? Yeah, he still ever... sells. He got in trouble. I feel like I think he did get in trouble. I think I heard he got. He in was trouble. chopping nuts for a minute. He had, he had a the, chopper. Uh, 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 yeah, that's right. Uh, what was the it sham called? Wow. It was. It was I nuts don't know. You could chop anything. He said this. This. Yeah, my nuts. that's right. That's right. He said something like my nuts. Yeah, and everybody yeah, was laughing because like, uh, it was like very uh, su um, suggestive. Yeah, but I got so I got really uh, disenfranchised with um, competition reality shows for that matter because I, of the Andy Kaufman movie. Well, yes, exactly. No, because I, I, I went. In, I those? thought I thought if you really tried hard, that's and, not real cancer. And really improved. Well, like, 
Man, that you're on would a be marked. <laughs> that would be marked in how you get to advance in the show. But really, it's just like any other show that's pretty much cast, and they have you pretty much slotted within one or two spots. Well, you know, I feel I feel that uh, there was always a lot of debate as to how much finagling was going on behind the scenes, Dancing with the Stars. You know, whether the whether the audience vote and, and the judges votes, and then the producers, and then you know, I, I, yeah, I mean. There was certainly a scenario there that played out with our competition. You know, how it turned out, you know, I don't know. Well, I, I, I heard another something, but I don't oh, know if we can talk about that. Oh, what'd you hear? I'm sure. Do you really can. want me to know? Do you really want me to say it? <sighs> I mean, I don't know. What is it? It's, it's not a great cool. implication. Oh, fantastic. What are we um, talking about? Andy's asleep. <laughs> um, he just woke up. <clears throat> yeah. What, what, do you, what do you want to say? I had the, um, the opportunity to kind of be around that show Later on, after you, right from my right. only my personal uh, experience, Life. yes, it and, was um, rigged. It was rigged. I'm really not sure that we could be airing this. Probably won't be able to. I 100 percent did not buy a single vote. I know you e- did. Edit and I did not. No, so, I know you didn't. Yeah, the sham wow guy cleans <sighs> up his act, and he's left. Yeah, is this a card here that says <sighs> the chair formerly sat in by Andy? Oh, he even changed his last name. He went back to Mignona. He's full Mignona now. Uh, no, uh, the Sham Wow guy has returned after a sex scandal to clean up his. There it is. The new product, Invincible. That's, it was a, not necessarily the name I would it's, choose. It's, it's, it's funny though that he was a he he the clean up his act. The Sham Wow guy. Guys, this article goes on. You can't make this up. Listen to this. It isn't just a six in one kitchen cleaner though. It's a comeback. Interesting. <laughs> Four years after getting into a slugfest with an alleged prostitute. <laughs> what? An incident Wait, that spawned he brawled with a prostitute? Yeah, that, that, that spawned a cringeworthy mugshot in headlines, Sham Wow Guy Beats Up Cannibal Hooker. <laughs> the informational pitch guy who became Cannibal famous Hooker? as an irreverent version of Billy Mays is launching a new product that's supposed to scrub persistent stains. Offer says... Uh, I don't know. It, it goes Dude, on. You can't. What? He said this product probably saved my life. From the cannibal hookers? Yeah. Fame didn't change me, but money can buy anything, and with it, you <laughs> want more girls around you. This is what he's saying. Oh, my gosh. Wait. It goes on, guys. I'm not going to read anymore. Is he it's from Jersey? I don't know what he's from. sounds like he's from Jersey. I don't know. But I don't understand. Look, and I can't verify any of that. I was Googling it. That article came up. I'm just so confused. I wasn't, I mean, that's honestly on there. I think a fist fight with a hooker would have been enough. The cannibal. Yeah. Well, she tried to eat him. That's why he was beaten. Mm. It's horrible. Stop it. Horrible. (laughs) Ah, no, I'm a man. (laughs) I mean, I don't know. What are we talking about? This is horrible. You started with competition. Now we're into cannibal. (laughs) Cannibal hookers in this show. I mean, this is terrible. Do Do we ever get, we get competitive. Of course we get Have you ever been in a brawl with a cannibal hooker? No, but I've gotten into a fight before. Me too. Yeah. I got into one fight once. You're not really a fighter, Jim. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yeah, you're not. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Thank you so much for watching this clip of the Broadly Love Podcast. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon right now. That's right. There's a link in the description for that too. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thanks.